Hi there, Collective. I really hope you don't get tired of me doing these Collective reads. Um, just really feeling it today. Let me tell you a few things. That's how you think. First of all, okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and, and light this Palo Santo. Um, what this message is about. This is an interesting message. Um, came to me when I was praying for discernment about what I was feeling. Um, yeah, energetically, what I was feeling and how to, how to interpret it. And so I'm being led to share a little bit, a little bit of my story with you. I mean, so you might be interested. I don't know. <laughs> you might be interested. So many people don't know this about me, but, um, so when I was born, I literally have been, um, experienced, I've experienced darkness in the shit of this world since I was born. I breathed that in instead of life when I was born. <laughs> I'm being very literal. Um, I was a C-section baby and I was called a meconium baby. So when I was born, they put off my, uh, birth for such a long time, um, that I had already developed bowel movements and poop and I inhaled that poop and I was called, instead of taking my first breath, I inhaled all this stuff that has shit in it, basically. So, <laughs> so I had to be, uh, resuscitated. I was not like technically, I guess, even living in the, in the beginning and <clears throat> Okay, brought back and then put on all these little machines. My dad tells me the story that I had tubes coming out of my head. And and that a priest came to prepare him for my death because I had a massive infection. Uh, all over the massive infection. So, but oddly enough, it's weird that that is kind of what has shaped <laughs> uh, what I have... Um, senses for or ability to like I know the darkness pretty well like I know it pretty well <laughs> like uh I I can um as you probably do with energies like sensing things and and so that kind of anyway I pulled through obviously so I'm here and, and no problems either it was kind of amazing so <clears throat> so I think it shaped me though. I really think, I think that, that moment probably shaped me because uh, throughout my life, whenever I've had, as I say, I prayed for wise discernment, but whenever I get like this, where I'm, I'm easily triggered or I'm feeling emotions really strong, it's not that I don't have control of them. It's just like there's something, there's something with the energy. I've cleared and it's good as of right now, everything's okay. <clears throat> but in my history, like, uh, when these feelings come on or when I get like this, um, or I'm about to enter like a big change, a big phase of my life that's going to be changed forever by some actions or non-actions, either one, um, big things have happened. Like big things have happened. Um, 9-11 happened um, last time I felt like this. Uh, corona started last time I felt like this. So, <clears throat> and and what's interesting is I know what we are one. I know that this is all, or whatever, this is all like a reflection of what's inside. But I can say that I... Um, find it, I find it unusual or just, you know, slightly odd that every time I go through these, this burst, uh, burst or feelings like this or big changes that are transformative in my life, like they change the timeline forever, that that's exactly the same time that some other big stuff is going on. I just want to dive into to figure out why, why is that coming to me? Why is that message coming to me? And and the reason I was pulled to do this reading is because I was thinking about it and um, I'm making a, a drastic change 
that's going to positively affect my health. No, I'm not doing anything bad, but, but just this change is going to affect my health drastically better for the better, this change, and it's going to mainly be the next, I don't know, week or so, and, and that, that I will maybe be a little getting used to something. So, so big change coming for me, and it kind of usually equals that there's going to be a big change out there, that there's something that if I'm going through something that's going to be very, very transformative for me, then, oh my goodness, what's happening out there? So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So, it's just, um, I want to find out what it is. It doesn't have to be dark. It could be something really light. <clears throat> it could be something really light. Uh, not really sure. So, I wasn't exactly told that part. <laughs> Just that I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something big. I'm feeling something big. On an individual level, it could be that each one of you are going through some type of, maybe like me, where there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. But you know that it's going to be for the better and it's going to be something you'll, you'll adjust to. But it's going to be like highly transformative. And I mean the good thing about this whole story actually looking back is that whatever. This for me is going to be I know um, very healthy good and, and I'll feel better. <clears throat> so maybe that is, a, is going to be the reflection of something really good to happen. I hope. I hope so. So I want to know what's going to happen with the, the world. I want to know what's going to happen with the world. Okay. Iron. <laughs> Iron. Okay, that's kind of like what I'm feeling. Go ahead. So this is that energy of magnetism. Um, Mars kind of like... Uh, raw energy completely determined on the opposite since it's duality you're going to have the opposite end of people who are completely undetermined or have given up maybe that's also what I'm feeling and so no okay that's not an option for this group <laughs> I'm just saying that um, but it's not it shouldn't be because this is raw energy that you can, it can lead you into total strength, power, strength, magnetism, or could pull you down to completely the other opposite end. And so, okay, maybe it's just the oppositions that are getting more and more distinct. I don't know, but this is raw energy. Raw energy. Mm, the silver. The silver must be polished. Silver can sometimes mean uh, the, the luxuries here that we can have. There's an opposite end to that too, or not have, right? Uh, but when I see this silver card, I think of it being tarnished and still being silver underneath. So needing to polish it off. So if, you've, if you're growing tired or you're growing weary, it may be something that just needs polishing off or something like that. It also looks like a moon. It's not, but it looks like a moon. And winter. And winter. Vinegar. Okay, vinegar can be. So, okay, so vinegar, 
when you taste it, you just need a little bit, right? It, in this card, it's, it is representing that it could be a, a bad memory or past experience. You don't want to keep pulling along with you. But vinegar also is used for cleaning. So it might be all about how we're digesting or ingest <laughs> ingesting no indigest mm, doesn't even sound right about what, how we're taking in like information how we're taking in the news how we're viewing it and then i have winter which means that cold things could get cold it could be talking about timing, Kim. It could be talking about timing. As we are going from fall to winter. Oh my goodness, the cut. Oh my goodness. The Empress and the Emperor on the cut. Wow. Is it about this winter card? Because as you know that the tree is not dead inside. It's still living. There's still a lot of things going on. Right? There's still a lot going on. winter about no <laughs> too many just give me one possibly something that you have been like I said this is uh, something that is attached to transformation and it could be something that you have built that maybe seems like it's at um a still or stand not stands I don't want to say stand still or something that hasn't um, gone along quite as grown at, like you would like it to or as fast as you would like it to so the castle says pride recognition position praise for achievements ego wealth ancestry antiquity history legacy architecture power prestige Isolation, the old guard, timeless, and the sword and scales. And then there's a 16, transformation, the tower energy, truth, and the urn, loss, death, forfeiture. Hear me out. Integrity, cut to the chase. Oh, wow. Oh my God, and then winter on the bottom. And then winter on the bottom. And there's another, oh, there's another castle or fortress. Uncharted territory, could be uncharted territory. Something you're pioneering, could be something like that. All I know is when you get the empress and the emperor together, Uh, these energies are very powerful. One is about the structure, power, action, moving forward. And the Empress is about what you're creating and receiving. Head of all the queens. This one, head of all the kings. So, action and knowing, um, picking your battles wisely. I don't know. There's just a could be staying to yourself <clears throat> this is also about staying power and uh, determined doing what it takes challenge 
navigating uncharted territory, resourceful. Got your six, unfortunate courage, ready for anything, sealed off, determined, unbreakable, true grit, and what it takes. So some type of um, staying power to what you're building, to the fortress that you're building. Like I said, there's something that when polished off, it's going to look really good. So rebirth. For some, that is a divine connection coming together because I have the six of cups here on the bottom, like the journey. There is a rebirth that <clears throat> that is going to address, uh, one, an ending, and two, the new path that leads to your Nine of Cups and where that path is. It's not promised to be like an easy path, um, but it is something that's going to lead you to your wishes, fulfillment, and what feels like a connection with the Nine of, well, I mean Six of Cups, sorry. The Nine of Cups being the goal. The King of Wands. It's what you're building. Something that um, is going to have, maybe like finally have more success. Because you're definitely, like with the magnetism, you are attracting this great big change. Trailblaze. Trailblazing. <clears throat> and both cards that mean you're getting out of one area, going to calmer waters or going away from the storm, and going to calmer water. Eight of, eight of cups and the six of swords both mean that you're leaving, leaving somewhere. Going somewhere else. Where are they going? Where are they going? King of Wands, like whatever you're building, it's master, master level here. Leaving, uh, breaking a tie. Um, maybe a big soul contract is over. It's time to move past a stalemate or a block of some sort. And the timing is right for this change, the Wheel of Fortune. The timing is right for this change and for you to be pioneering uncharted territory. Maybe the energies I'm picking up on are not so much over uh, like about one specific event, but might be that there's a lot of uncharted territory, a lot of energies maybe even we're not familiar with. Either way, you have good luck. You have good timing. You have the right season. <clears throat> Something's going to change. The group or the people you're around is going to change. Wow. I have the Three Cups and the Three of Swords both in the reverse. And the justice in the reverse. Okay, so this is like talking about how there will be partnerships, maybe relation like uh, partnerships, marriage relationships, things like that that um, are changing, contracts changing again. Law, this, this something about the scales that were so off balance, and something affecting our connection with the divine. picking up as like an interference energy actually um and then the three the swords is putting a past behind you or something behind you that was heartbreaking that hurt three cups reverse is removing yourself from these not so great influences that might be around you or gossipy energy this could have been a, a cheating situation i mean it could be like a lot of things but you're releasing it and it's time for this new chapter and a new investment. So something's fixed, something's faded, fortune faded for you. <clears throat> 
yeah, I mean, no, maybe this is just brand new energy, brand new energy, something that, um, but something you've worked on definitely uh, is going to be good. I, I, I just, if, I know I would steal myself off from that group if that group is giving you issues or problems. Okay, so give me an angel number message and we'll close it out. Zero, zero. At this time, like you're being asked to uh, definitely pay attention. Angels ask for your attention. Zero, zero. So listen. Um, focus in, hone in on your uh, intuition here. It says follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Zero, zero. I'm observant. And then the signs just get, you know, as you know, the signs will get, they will increase. You'll have more of them. So that's what I've got. I just thought I'd share. Sending love. Bye.